So today we're going to learn how to prep our canvas for this zebra acrylic painting that we're going to be doing. We are going to be doing it on a piece of canvas paper. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to trace this zebra design on a light table onto one of the sheets of canvas paper. So I've already gone ahead and done that. When you are tracing your picture, it's very important that we use the lighter, whiter side of the canvas. So the canvas is just cloth and it needs a layer of gesso on top in order to prime the canvas to get ready for painting. So it's very important that we don't use this kind of beige, greenier side. We want this smoother, lighter, whiter side. Um, notice also how I didn't bother painting out all of the, or drawing out all the stripes of the zebras. We're going to have to paint over them anyways, so we can just get a very rough outline. Now we wanna prep our canvas with some texture medium. So we'll notice how this has a nice rough surface to the sky and it has a nice 3D texture to the grass down here. So if we hold our canvas sideways, you can actually see all the bumps and the ridges. So the first thing we're going to do is do the sky in the mountains in our texture medium. So we're gonna use the stucco medium. And I'm going to apply it with a palette knife. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a small scoop, put it on here. I've also prepped my work area so that I have newspaper underneath my desk so that I'm not getting it on my desk. And we'll wanna spread it out. We just need a thin layer. And it's okay if we get a little bit on the zebras, we can wipe that off afterwards. And we want to bring the stucco medium down to around the zebra's knees. So we can either try to smooth this out really well, if you would like, or you can purposefully kind of make some more texture on it by dabbing it and giving it some more ridges to the mountain. So I'm gonna try to keep my sky a little bit on the smoother side. And then I'm going to add a little bit more texture to my mountains by just kind of dabbing it a little bit more so it makes it a little rougher. If I got any texture medium inside the zebras, I can just use my finger and wipe it off on a paper towel. I'm gonna to try to remove this texture medium the zebras. You can also take your palette knife to try to clean it off and remove it that way but honestly I think your finger works better. Then we want to try to scrape off any excess stucco that we have back into our jar so we're not wasting any. Try to clean off the edges of the jar 
So when we put the lid back on, it doesn't glue it shut. And make sure that this is put back on very tight so this doesn't dry out. Because remember, these are very expensive and we don't want to ruin it for the rest of the class. The next medium we're going to use is the gel medium. So this is going to make the texture for the grass. And we want to either use a different palette knife or wash and dry our palette knife really well so we're not putting stucco in here and contaminating it. So this we want a little bit thicker so we can go ahead and put a few scoops on here and I can start to spread it out. And I want it covering just the bottom of my zebra's legs. I want to make sure we spread it all the way to the edges, which is another reason why we need that newspaper down on our desk. So again, kind of a thicker layer here. And then once that layer is on, I can start to do scraffito. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top of my knife and I'm gonna start making these little lines. So for atmospheric perspective, things are smaller in the background and they get bigger as we go towards the foreground. So with each new row, I'm going to be making it slightly bigger and longer lines. And I want to make my lines all different. So I'm not going straight up and down, some are going slanting to the right, some are slanting to the left. They're kind of crossing and overlapping each other a lot. And my bottom rows should be the longest lines. I wanna make sure I'm starting off the canvas. go all the way down to the edge of the paper. Oops. So we don't really have to worry about getting any mediums in between the legs. Um, if you want to, you can, but we're gonna do broken color here, so. Um, we'll have a nice transition from the mountains to the grass area, so we don't really need that. So we're going to, again, wipe off any excess gel medium. Try to save as much as possible. Make sure we put the lid on and we don't have any gel medium on the sides of the jar. Tighten that up. And again, we want to wash and dry our palette knife because if this doesn't get smooth, we won't be able to make smooth textures anymore when we're applying it. So you can just run this under the sink and then wipe it off with the paper towel. Then we have to allow 24 hours for our mediums to dry. So I would go ahead and store this on top of your watercolor palette and just put it in your shelf. And next class, we will start painting with acrylics on top of it.